Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Binding of Isaac and this time we're doing something that's a little different. As you can see we've got a few items here from the Battle Fantasy mod. I thought it's about time we did some modded showcase things. With the change up to the channel I thought why not do some stuff like this as well and I've taken three pretty interesting items from the Battle Fantasy mod and decided I'm going to showcase these. Now this will end up being a kind of powerful run especially because of the White Habanero but I thought that this would be really really fun. So let's take a look at what these do. Uh, I picked three items here that are all fire related because I thought that would be an interesting little way to showcase things. So we've got the Blazing Iris here, an orbital familiar that is going to every few seconds um, turn enemy projectiles into fire. Pretty nice. Uh, we've got the White Habanero which seems very interesting, a quality 4. Chance to shoot a Holy Flame alongside the Fire Tier. The Holy Flame is to extra damage and it has an aura around it like a Holy Poop um, and gives us Herming Tears as well. Chance is increased by luck. And then lastly, we've got the Boiling Blood, which is why I'm playing as Tainted Maggie here. Damage per Red Heart Container held. Release 10 fires upon taking damage and they deal your damage plus 20. So very, very interesting. I mean, hugging here is going to be pretty awesome. Um, so that's why I've gone for this. Um, now, I do wonder... If it's going to be at all easy or hard to uh, kill enemies with our hugs, or they're just going to always die to the fires. Because it might mean that we actually get less hearts out of this as a whole. Which I th think is going to be kind of interesting. But I thought this would be a rather intriguing idea to test out some different items from a mod. And I, I kind of want to give more highlights to some mods in the future. So I want this to be something that I can do a bit more regularly. Um... And as I said, I think going on theme here of all of them being fire related is kind of an interesting way to do this uh, and could hopefully result in a pretty interesting run. Now, we haven't actually seen any of these white fires yet, um, so our look's obviously pretty low. There's the um, there's the, the eye doing its thing, the iris. We'll come in here. There's one of them, look. So now we get homing tears while we stand in this fire. Very, very nice. Man, this is going to be a strong run, obviously. But... Um, I think this is a pretty fun showcase nonetheless. And Tainted Maggie makes it a bit more interesting. It gives us more reason to take self-damage, which I think alongside this character is pretty fun. As for the question of the day today, uh, would you like to see more of this sort of stuff? Do you want to see more like mod showcase, item showcase style things? Because uh, I think it, it's kind of fitting. And people have asked me to do quote-unquote challenge runs for a while, where they're not really a challenge, but you spawn yourself off, start yourself off with certain items. Maybe you put a limitation on yourself um, because you've been giving yourself stuff. But for this one, we're just going to have fun and play around with these items. I mean, the Boiling Blood one especially right now is is the top dog. Um, this is really good though. The, uh, the fires don't last a ton of time, but being able to use them to deal damage and gaining some herming off of them and stuff is, is quite, quite nice. And then, yeah, we can... Big groups of enemies, we can run ourselves into them to deal some amazing damage. And the iris just every now and again popping off and turning an enemy projectile into an additional fire. Seems pretty good. The also, the iris fires seem to glow a different colour too, which I think is kind of interesting. But yeah, so far I really I really like the... Um, I, th I think the Boiling Blood item is probably my favourite. Because we're gaining so much damage off of it and it's unlikely to grow. But the Boiling Blood one with Maggie especially is... Uh, it's something to behold, which is why I decided to pick Maggie. I wanted to show just how truly busted this item could be. Uh, but this is only three of the items in Battle Fantasy. Of course, there's about 40 items in total in this mod, so there is plenty to see. Um, and I really like mods like this that have like some strong theming around them. Um, being able to take three of these items and doing kind of a, a fire-themed run, I think, is pretty, pretty unique. And we're getting to see each one of the items separately do its own thing. Uh, the... Um, they are synergizing reasonably well, but at the same time, um, we're able to see each of their abilities separately and see what they're able to provide us. That was an amazing bomb. Absolutely amazing bomb. Right, let's keep moving on. Let's make our way back to the item room over here and see what's what with that. Give it a little go. Give it a little go. Unfortunately, it's quite far away. I'll check what this is. I'm not quite sure what rune rock that is. I never know about the symbols. We'll never know because, yeah, for that one. We are actually going to slowly lose damage though because um, filled heart containers give us more damage. Hey, we got a contraband there. Wasn't expecting that, but I will certainly take it. And we got a mini boss here as well. Ooh, hello. We got Crack the Sky, which I'm actually kind of tempted to take, but I think contraband is a little more intriguing for us. Mask of Thanatos here, pretty good. Um, we do get these chain boys following us um i don't know why we have quite so many to be honest i think it's only meant to be three 
But anyways, these guys will follow us around, and when they take damage, they'll um, put out burnies and burn fragments, things like that. A pretty good item to go along with all of this. But yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm really liking the sprite work as well. Uh, the, the white habanero uh, especially is really interesting. Right, so let's yum heart this and then we'll get in there. The fires, my god. Beautiful stuff, beautiful stuff. Uh, Pentagram's really, really nice off the bat here. And we probably don't want to be going Devil Deal. I checked inside there anyways in case there was anything amazing. But I don't think Devil Deal's really going to be the way for us to go. Just because... I don't know. I, I, I think we want to keep as many heart containers as we can get, really. Um, we get some decent stuff here, obviously excluding Plan C. We um, we don't particularly care for Plan C in this situation, do we? Well, I got a rotten heart there randomly. We got one of these lockpicks here. They're always a little tricky to use, but... Well, I, say, I won't say tricky. They're hard to remember to use. We are absolutely covering the room in fire, but they got, got to remember as well that boiling blood won't quite have its potency once we get to the womb. So we won't be able to use it quite as often. Um, really, it's the habanero that's going to be the, the carrying power of this because we're able to generate herming and stuff. We'll get extinction event. A very nice little item here as well. We can call forth a plague of meteorites coming down from the sky, which will also destroy rocks, meaning hopefully we can have this tinted rock destroyed. We'll just have to wait a little bit here. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll gamble on this. Scarlet Infant, not exactly the best. Come on. Oh, you're so close. Come on. Extinction events destroyed like all the rocks but this one. I can't influence where it goes either. But it's uh, it's doing its just about its best job to hit everything apart from the tinted rock right now. So, a little, little bit annoyed. Hey, we got Liberty Cap. I'll take that. Oh, come on. It's literally the last rock in the room. Are you kidding me? I've got bombs. I just don't want to use them. I'm going to use a bomb. Fuck it. <laughs> oh, man. We'll hold that onto that until the end of the floor, I think. Get in there with our fires. This is oh, some beautiful, beautiful stuff right here. Um, we'll, we'll head our way back over here for a, for a hot second. I don't know if we're going to end up really getting much out of these Thanatos um, coffins. I don't really know if we're going to see much much uh, from them. Right, rooms like this are where we want to go to this. Good thing is they block shots, obviously. Um, so we can kind of utilize them to keep ourselves a little safer sometimes. See, that's, that's where the fires are super useful when you can jump right into the middle. Hey, there's one of them breaking. And thematically, they release a bit of fire when they do break. <laughs> Great. Keeping everything on theme today. Obviously, the bed doesn't really matter for us right now. Crawl space, however. Crawl space could be pretty lovely. I mean, a rune bag is nothing to turn our nose up at. Thank you. I will certainly take that on my merry little way. See if we can make much use out of that. I don't really know what I'm looking for now. I guess I just want to try and uh, find the shop. Back, you heathen. Oh, one of my mini Isaacs is having a, a hard time here. For some reason, they have two heads, and I'm not quite sure why. Yum heart going in. Here's our shop, lovely. So now we can stay in the, the awe of these fires. And the thing is, as well, the more fire out we get, the more of these we're going to generate. Take care of them, guys. Beautiful. A little annoying that all of these guys are stuck behind cover, but we'll get there. Um, and then we can take this. Gained three Bs at the start of a room until we uh, purchase something, and we also gained money out of it too, which is rather nice. It's an interesting idea for an item that it kind of tempts you into um, into making a bad play and losing it. It gives you the money, but it doesn't want you to spend it. You hit me there, sir. You hit me. I'm trying to do all the extra rooms I can here, because why not? I'm going to save my extinction event for the boss, of course. I don't have a key for that heart, unfortunately. You do require a key to get into that heart. Right, we keep moving. We keep her going. Okay. Um, yum heart, yum heart. How do we do with you? Don't think we need to use you right now. We'll use this. I'll go for a hit. Oh, that was beautiful. We got a good few hearts out of that. And you as well. Wow, okay. We are demolishing here. Right, now we can pop this. Got two soul hearts there. And you know what? The mines is calling to us. It has given us a reason to head to the mines. 
So who who would it be to me to deny the game of that pleasure? Let's check out the mines. Beautiful. Oh, my holy mantle didn't actually obviously trigger my on-hit effect there. But as you can see, we've not actually got a whole ton of damage. It's like well, the damage we're gaining right now is only the damage we're gaining off of boiling blood, and it's not a it's not a ton. But we're still able to do quite a bit of damage because of these fires. I mean, it's the fact that it's your damage plus twenty. Pretty wild. We also got good old soul of Azazel here. Lovely stuff. I can probably utilize that just a little bit. We'll try and quick clear through a few rooms here. Come on. Hey, there you go. Managed to get through quite a few rooms there. Straight to the boss. Why not? Ooh, clutch. You could be interesting. I'm going to try and cover this entire room in fire and hope that helps. It's it's doing a pretty good job. He is he is very much on fire. Okay. <laughs> Little risky, but a lot of fun. Okay, we got that. And then item room we haven't seen yet. Shop is also viable here. We do technically have a key if we... I think it's hold our drop button. There you go. We used it. What the hell's this thing? I ain't never seen that in my life. What is this? Makes an odd noise when I put money in it. Oh, it exploded. Um... Crack the sky? Wait, what? I got crack the sky as a as a consumable? I'm confused by this. Essence of the Keeper. Turn all item pedestals, pickups, trinkets into their golden variants. Inflicts the Midas touch effect to all enemies. Ooh. Well, I've got an interesting idea. I'm going to buy a golden diplopia <laughs> and see what shenanigans we can get up to with that. <laughs> a golden diplopia seems rather intriguing. Now, do I want to keep using that machine? I'm not entirely sure. Um, oh, that is not what I meant to do at all. How exactly am I opening this up? Okay, just like that, good. I'm going to go with, is that your listen? It is your listen. Do you know what? Your listen's decent. It gives some luck upgrade as well. I think that's not a bad shout for us right now. And we'll get out of here. And yeah, um, I guess we're going to look for a decent item to diplopia, which which should get double diplopia, which is kind of interesting. I'm excited to see how that will go down. Right. We are slowly but surely losing our health here. Let's, let's use Crack the Sky on the boss, the consumable version of Crack the Sky, and see what's what with that. Oh, I forgot we've killed the boss here. doesn't matter. Okay, we'll be swiftly moving on then. Swiftly moving on. Righty-her. Righty-her. Beautiful stuff. Gribbity grab me some of that. And take care of you. Okay. Ooh, lovely. Smell a random trinket to ourself. Hey, nice. 10% chance to fire a piercing shot. It's not a bad thing to grab at all. Got a bit of health there. There you go. Come on. I really want this golden diplopia to be uh, to be kind of insane. I want it to give me something crazy. Give me like a 2020 to duplicate four times and see what happens. Oh lord, that, that enemy, that enemy do be laggy. <laughs> See, now it's very, very hard to know what's my fire and what's their fires. I've just got to assume it's all deadly. But at the same time, I can probably safely assume most of it's mine. Beautiful stuff. Man, and my heart's dropping. Right, anything to diplopia here? Pretty crazy item here. Not something you want to deploy here, but pretty crazy item. Now our tears circle a orbital that is flying around us. It's uh, it's, it's a pretty it's a pretty wild one. But luckily, considering our situation, we don't really need that accurate of a tear. So I think we're okay to go ahead and grab that weird, weird baby right there. We like him. We love him. He's very odd, but we want it. Yeah, the essence of the keeper seems like it's going to be very, very good if you can just turn any item gold. We also got a token here, which will um, use our last used thing. Um, so I don't know what we're going to do with that. We did get 
good old George here, which and unfortunately, yet again, Golden Diplopia doesn't do too much for that. I'm hoping for like a really crazy angel deal or something that we can uh, we can do some stuff with on that. But who knows if we'll get the ability to do that. Uh, what's what's left here? Oh, it's you, I see. Item room we've been to. Nah, we'll go straight for the boss here. Ooh, these guys do look a lot better. Beautiful. Wasn't so bad. And one last little bomb on you. Easy. Eat all of my fires. Hey, and we get essential oil as well. Lovely stuff. And little bishop blocks projectiles when hit. 20% chance to feed. <laughs> Call me crazy, but... <laughs> I gotta try this. <laughs> I gotta try this. But Golden Diplopia, may have, that may have been a waste of a Golden Diplopia to some people. But I'm, I'm really, really curious how having a bunch of these guys will work. Is it just like the chance for block a hit? Is it just crazy high? Is it only projectile hits it blocks? Probably should try and find out. I'm intrigued. <laughs> this this was a weird decision. Definitely isn't on contact damage, which is probably preferable. I think projectile damage will be somewhat immune to, hopefully. I think. I need to test that theory, as I said. I'm not sure the best way to do that though, at, this, at, this, uh, at this time. Definitely better ways to use a golden diplopia, I'm sure. But this is what I have chosen. <laughs> Pinomatic, um, gulps our trinkets. Okay, hell yes. Fakes a damage on us and gulps our trinkets. We can deal. Oh, we did gulp them already. Okay, doesn't matter. I'm, I'm doing this for no reason at this point. Nice. Yeah, go for that. Why not? And we've got no key to getting there right now. What, what's this Alpha Centurion thing we've got here? Ah, we don't need that. I don't need to be messing around with that right now. Okay. Try and get out of here. Uh, this counts as a special room, right? George should give us a red room. Indeed it does. Right. Throw something at me. Damn you. <laughs> I may have taken all these little bishops for no good reason. <laughs> Come on, my army. Follow me. Till the ends of the earth. You beautiful, beautiful bastards. Let us go. Y'all gonna get absolutely destroyed. I actually need like a boss that fires a ton of projectiles because the iris is also gonna destroy stuff, remember? So we've got like really, really good projectile protection. We can go back to our item room now here. Oh, hello. I mean, that's kind of useful. There's also a red room through here. Oh, it's not a good one though. It's not a good one. Not the sort of red room we'd like to see. But we are able to shoot over these blocks pretty easily, so I think actually it doesn't matter all that much. Shop is going to give us not much here. Um, we got a little thingy room in here. Thank you. Back to the item room real quick. <laughs> Just four little bishops. Complete waste of a golden diplopia in most people's eyes, but... I like getting a bit zany, a bit weird, a bit wacky. And that, that seemed funny to me. Right, what we got going on in here? Ooh, this is good. 50% chance to spawn a nightmare for the current floor on damage. Nightmares will orbit the player and vulnerable will stop moving. Yeah, this is going to be good. Lots and lots of nightmares for us to play around with. Cool, it's time for the boss. Let's scoot and a skip over that way. Scoot and a skip. Why is Scarlet Baby doing, like, lagging around me so much? Beautiful. <laughs> oh, is that it? Okay. The, the big John's vibrating the room there. I thought it was one of those dudes that pops out the walls. Okay. We got some nightmares on us now. Look, you see that? There you go. They're doing their thing. <laughs> Ooh. 
Not the best boss to test with. Ooh, decent. Damn, we are here early. We are here very early. Okay, I'll grab that. Check out this devil deal. Um, I guess multidimensional baby is probably a good shout. And we'll check what's going on in here. We got Midas bombs, which could be kind of interesting. The hive is decent. Uh, yeah, let's grab the hive. Why not? And we should be able to get through this reasonably well. Especially considering it's two room charge per wave. We just don't want to go too, like, overcommittal on the, uh, on the contact damage side of things. It's good, but we will die very swiftly if we over, overutilize that. Especially at the minute while we've not got a good way of generating hearts for most bosses. Some bosses have a great way of generating hearts. They literally just give it on a silver platter. But a lot of other bosses don't have that. I've also got to deal with this guy. Got to deal with this guy. Also, I think all my coffins are going to end up breaking by the end of this. Ha ha! See, now you, you like fire, don't you? But something you might not know is uh, I also like fire quite a bit. <laughs> I could have put Fire Mind on with this as well, but I was like, I don't want to be too overpowered. I knew that I was going to start off strong, because I initially was just going to give myself one item and just go with the one item to start with. But then I, then I was like going through the other items in Battle Fantasy and was like, actually, there's a bit of a theme going on here. I think these items, although only loosely based on each other from the fire, I still think it could be cool. Soul I forgot. Unfortunately, not a soul that really helps us all that much. we got all these nightmares surrounding us as well, which is kind of nice. A golden penny there. But these nightmares do a lot of damage. Basically, as you can see, whenever we're firing, they stay stationary and just shoot shots up in the air that then herm in on enemies that are nearby. They can do a quite a big number on enemies pretty swiftly. Got some of that more. We've got Kingpin here. Kingpin's probably good because he's going to give us a lot of uh, red hearts to uh, play around with. Heal ourselves back up mostly to full. Yeah, he just he just basically ate dirt right there. God damn. This nightmare item with this character. I just this is why I love this character. On hit effects being so much more like relevant. Makes it so much more fun. We just got like an absolutely absurd amount of nightmares. Although I believe they only last until the end of the floor. We don't keep them to the next floor, which Kind of makes sense, considering you're able to garner this many of them, potentially. I think all the fire is definitely causing a little bit of lag, but... I am playing with, uh, with multiple... Don't know what that did. I am playing with multiple mods on. It's not just the Battle Fantasy mod, as we've sort of seen from the other modded items that I've come across, so... It is kind of understandable. Get back here. You get back here. I don't want you moving away again. It's surrounded by fire, please. And <laughs> a hellish amount of little nightmares. I'd probably be like leaving my little nightmares where the enemies spawn. And then kind of walking off to the other enemy to deal with them. Seems to be a decent way of doing things. Oh, do they get herming while I'm in the fires as well? I think they do, you know. Like stronger herming, I mean. Like follow off of our tier effects. I like this. Got a ring of them there. And yeah, it literally just insta-kills a boss. We can do that again, put a ring of them there. We don't even really need to use our on-hit effects that much anymore. Once we get some nightmares built up for the floor, we're kind of set and ready to go. We can just leave them to it and uh, carry on with our business. We'll go he over here and tend to this angel. Both things are almost dead. Okay, this guy did unfortunately get away, but not for very long. Not for very long. Hey, another smelted trinket. Mysterious Papi. It's always a risk with that. There's a few trinkets that are devastating if you get them smelted, but for the most part, smelted trinkets are 99% of the time good. How, how, what's, what's going on with Gish right now? I'm not able to deal any damage to him, and he's been sitting in the air for ages. There you go. He finally de decided it's time to get down. Good, good. Good, good little gish. Good, good. Oh, 
Right. Definitely need to heal up a little bit here. I'm not really watching my health as much as I should be. I also don't think my uh, my little bishops have done anything for me thus far, so I'm not exactly sure what to think of this as a, as a plan. Let this guy fire his projectiles. You, you do some stuff that helps my little gishes prove themselves worthy. I'll be sad if you don't. Nah, my my little bishops. I mean, it's there's a there's a plausibility I'm blocking stuff and just not noticing, but I don't think that's the case. I don't think that's the case. Hey, we did it, and we got ourselves Waxwing, which unfortunately pretty useless. In fact, it might actually be actively bad for us uh, because it'll teleport us back to the starting room whenever we get hit. Uh, not not every single time, but the first time. Oh, there's still an enemy in here. There you go. Like that, although that, that, that lets us get boss rush, which I wasn't expecting. The first hit of every floor, we'll lose our flight and uh, get teleported, which I actually don't want, so I'm kind of annoyed I took that item, but we live and we learn. We have to deal with our mistakes. Let's make our way back. Was this the floor with the weird machine? Or was that last floor? No, it was last floor. I'd say I probably should have played that weird machine a little more. I kind of got the uh, essence of Keeper and then gave up on it, didn't I? Not the best idea. Ah! Get away, troll bomb. Right. We are good to go. We are not great on HP, though. So, But at this, at this point, we're not really going to be using melee quite as much anyway. So we're going to be relying on other things to uh, make sure that we're okay. Like these fires. pick up hearts from enemies where we can, but it's not always going to be plausible. My secret room to boot. Ah, not a good one, though. I, I guess I could blow up those mushrooms, but I am too impatient. I am far too impatient to do such a thing. But yeah, th this is the teleport I was telling you about there. Not ideal for us, but now we no longer have flight, so we can get hit all we want. It's, it's a good item. It's just not a good item for this character that's that's planning on getting hit intentionally all of the time. Like I said, there won't be as much of that on these floors, but it's still going to happen. And I'll, of course, end up getting hit trying to reach into a little pocket to grab a... Um, ooh, hello. To, to grab a little red heart. Not a great abandoned planetarium for us, to be honest. Um, you okay? This isn't really where I meant to go, but I'm not that bothered. Spirit Sword's an interesting proposition here. I'm wondering if my White Habanero still works with this. I'm really hoping it does, uh, but I'm not entirely sure that it will. But with this range, I think... Um, the sword's very good. With this range, the sword is very, very good. You guys want to chill out for a bit? Good, good. Secret room there to boot. Lovely stuff. And prevents curses from appearing for the rest of the room. Prevent their curse gives us a damage increase. Pretty good stuff. Pretty good stuff. we got some really, really good stuff going on in this run already. Right, ooh, a luck upgrade there as well. Thank you. Wipe that with the sword. Gimme, gimme from a distance. Right, I kind of got hit on purpose there, but shouldn't have. Another luck upgrade. Our luck has actually been too good. We had minus luck there. I don't know where we got minus luck from, but luck hasn't been too good, so I'm glad to see it coming in because it's making some of our items work a little better. White Habanero, unfortunately, I don't think is working with this setup, so White Habanero's luck increase doesn't matter all too much. we got to try these things, haven't we? <laughs> My little bishops. Doing their best, I think. I think when I think it's when they get hit, they block shots, but I think they're just not having a good time at getting hit. Like, for example, let's just, like, leave them to chill for a minute here. Oh, there you go. One of them activated. I think. Right. Keep keep hitting him. You just spawned a boss. That's not keeping hitting him. Not at all. 
My little bishops have let me down. I was hoping they'd be amazing, but... Devil deal here. Anything we want to grab from you? Um... Don't think so, actually. Although, Cambion Conception's potentially good, but I don't think we have enough health to make it really pop. So, I think we're just going to take what we have and move on with this little run here. Yeah, it's going to be a beautiful little showcase run, I think. Although, ooh, something wicked had an error there. I think it's something to do with the nightmares. Um, although, definitely an easier run. And probably, in the future, I won't give myself three items to begin with. I might just do the one or the two. Um, but, eh, interesting nonetheless. Definitely something different. And I, like I said, I kind of wanted to give a bit of a highlight to some modded items. Um, something I have, I've, I've kind of done it a little bit in the past, but not to this extent. And I think it's something that I want to do a little more often. Um, so let me, let me know what you guys think, and I'll, I'll try and keep up with it. And, uh, when new mods come out, or even if mods that are existing, we, there's items we haven't really taken a full look at. I'll take a look at, um... Giving them more of a showcase. And if people have specific items as well that they think fit this and would really like to see me cover, let me know and I'll, uh, I'll take a look into uh, into those items to see if we can build an interesting run with them, shall we? We've kind of, like, let some of the items by the wayside at this point. The Iris is the only one that's really doing much because uh, the Hibernera is not firing with Spirit Sword, which is a shame. But the on-hit effect, obviously, at the minute, while still useful... We're not really getting hit much. I mean, the main thing we're getting out of Boiling Blood right now is the uh, the damage increase per filled Red Heart. Which is good, definitely. Definitely good. Right. What was that? Some of our coffins are doing their thing. Just starting some of our fire. We like that. Spirit Sword is so annoying that it like, knocks you away from the enemy you're trying to get to. You have to like, proper force yourself into them. There you go. There's another floor locked and loaded. But what like, what a weird run this has been so far. We've only got two keys so far here, so not a lot to go on, unfortunately. Not great items. But BL's above his permanent flight. That's kind of nice. Oh, I got teleported back straight away there. Really the same eye hit me again. <laughs> Very much my bad. With one luck, we managed to still get a chest somehow. Conjoined might be coming our way. There you go. Conjoined with this setup is, uh, I was going to say pretty good. I don't think it's done anything. <laughs> I don't think it's done a lick of difference. Right, we can heal up still. Luckily, we've still got Yum Heart to, to work alongside us here. Chest. No, no, no. Ooh, what's that? Ten percent chance to activate dark arts when taking damage. I mean, it seems almost useless. Ten percent chance, but on a character like this, when we're getting hit so much, it at least makes a little bit more difference. But realistically, you'd up that to twenty-five percent chance for any base character to actually look at that and want to take it. I don't know why anyone other than Tinted Maggie would ever take that. It seems terrible. Maybe it's intentional, though. Maybe it's one of those ones where it's intended to be like, if you find this is your first trinket, you might keep it, but you'll definitely end up swapping out. I think it's good for balance to, to actually have some of those items in Isaac. There's a lot in the base game, and I think sometimes modders forget that having a bunch of bad items is an important part of the game's balance, even though they're not always the coolest to design or implement. Interesting. Well, that didn't work. <laughs> Teleports me to an extra boss room with Vanishing Twin. Did not work at all. I won't judge the... Got this rolling mass coming at us. Not actually doing as much damage as I thought for Spirit Sword, but I guess our base damage level isn't really that high. Ooh, another chest. I was not expecting that. Seed bag. I guess we can take Seed Bag, it's somewhat useful. Right. Block out all of these fellas. Which unfortunately, apparently, I cannot do. So seed Bag isn't very useful to us either. Shame. 
Oh god, the ghosts. I didn't even see them. This should be the right way, though, to, to the boss, I would think. It seems like we are almost there. Good, good, good. Yeah, look, I can't... Oh, wait, no, I can. I just don't know what's going on with them, to be honest. Here we go. Here's the boss. Yeah, get away from these skulls. Deal with you at another time. Two soul stones to end that off. I don't need them, though. The boss armor, obviously, on this guy is going to make things a little trickier. But not constantly, so don't worry. It does fade over time. It's a really good rework of this boss, to be fair. And as you can see, we're making a mockery of him, to be honest. An absolute mockery. Gotta go for the on-hit effects to end this off, haven't we? Beautiful stuff. Either way, I hope you guys enjoyed this little showcase run. Definitely something a little different, a little interesting. Hope you guys did enjoy, and I'll see you guys in the next one.